Instagram photos and also how to maintain and create a theme. I know having a theme has been a really popular thing the last few months to a year on YouTube so I hope that you guys can benefit from this and get some nice tips and tricks for your Instagram. Um, yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll have it linked on the screen right here and also in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really requested and let's get started. So for my Instagram, I use two main editing apps and that is the SEO Cam and Facetune. Now I'm going to be showing you how I edited a picture from the beach about two weeks ago. It is this one right here where I'm just looking off the balcony. I thought it turned out really, really nicely. And yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how I edited this to match my theme. My theme for my Instagram is mainly white and it does have some swatches of color in there just because I don't want to keep it strictly like too white or anything. Um, I really like having a bright kind of Instagram and so the white and all the colors, it really just ties it in and looks really nice. Um, so yeah, moving on. The first thing that I did for that picture was bring it up on Facetune. Now I don't use Facetune like people normally do. I use it for like other things, especially for the whitening tool because I do have a lot of white on my Instagram so I use that to whiten a lot of different things. So I'm just going to take the whitening tool and whiten all of the white parts of it. And then after that I took the details and this is when I can just like, it kind of bumps up the resolution of your photo and makes it look better. Sorry, I'm like editing right now and it's like filming my screen while I'm doing this so if you wonder why I'm looking down that's what I'm doing. Um, and it just kind of like amps up the quality of your picture and then I went on VSCO cam and I just took that photo and um, now is when you're going to take it and start editing like actual like filters and stuff so for this photo I went and chose the HB1 filter and I put it on about a plus seven and then I went to my contrast and I put that at I think one and then I went ahead to the sharpening tool and I added it twice like just plus two just to make the picture look really nice and that is all I also created a separate Instagram so that I could upload and see if it matched my theme well and I really 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 recommend this if you are wanting to start a theme and like keep it going constantly because it really helps and you can plan out your posts very nicely and I just really like it doing it that way because then I make sure that all my photos match and my theme is nice and constant so yeah so the two filters I use for my theme are C1 and HB1 on the SEO cam so those are the two filters that I normally stick to if you're wanting to create a theme on your Instagram I recommend choosing one or two filters that um, you keep constant on all of your photos because it really ties them in together and makes sure that they all look similar um, so that your photos all match and it looks really nice and like a theme um, yeah it doesn't have to be as strict as mine mine is very pretty strict and like everything is pretty white but uh, keeping at least like the same filters really really helps and ties in all of your pictures. So that is how I edit my Instagram photos and also some tips on maintaining and creating your own theme. I hope this helped and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Again go follow me on Instagram. I love Instagram and I post all the time. So if you guys want to follow a really cool Instagram, I mean I think it's really cool so definitely go follow mine. I'll have it linked on the screen and also um, I'd also like to announce the winners of my Fit Mud giveaway and there was five winners so yeah I'm pretty sure you've already been contacted by the company I gave them all of your names so the five winners are Bianca Garcia, Kayla Combs, Hannah Danforth, Jasmine Davis, and Hannah Nicole so congratulations and thank you guys so much for entering that giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video again I think I said that like 300 times but yeah I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!